Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, Derry Branch here at Memphis Wild Strike 7 Sports. And I'm back with y'all with another video. Uh, Memphis, just here to talk about the Tigers. And it seems to me, and I don't think I'm wrong about this, is that they're clicking at the right time. Clicking on all cylinders, everybody. You know, the starting five, the, you know, the starters playing longer minutes. Um, you know, Nikwan Tomlin, you know, Ascension, since being inserted to the starting five, it's all coming together. Penny Hardaway is coaching, you know, players buying into the vision. It's all coming together, man. And, and now, you know, they, they, they won full streak. Got a huge opportunity in front of them tomorrow against Florida Atlantic, FAU. I'll be doing the preview for that story. For that matchup, um, sometime today I'll be releasing it on the um, Strike Seven Sports website. But it's coming together, man. Is we look, we, this team is finally looking like that program that won ten straight games early in the year? Because what they did against um, UAB in that second half was just a, a masterclass. That was just like you gotta. I'll put that up there as one of Penny Hardaway's best coaching performances, man. He was down by a huge deficit. And them guys went on a 46-9 run and erased that lead. I was there. I saw it. It was just like turnover. Back and forth. Turnover. Memphis got it down that bucket. Rinse and repeat for like a, a hot minute. You know what I'm saying? So... Teams looks the team looks really good right now, man. Um, hopefully they can get this win tomorrow against Florida Atlantic. Uh, rematch, you know, you just played them. So Penny Hardaway, you know, they, they played they paid to play them two times already. You know, the tournament last year and the matchup from a week two weeks ago. So Penny Hardaway has a good grasp on how to beat that team. And if you're looking at it right now. Florida Atlantic on, was on the ropes, man, to me. Um, played a game uh, yesterday. I think it was North Texas a few days ago. Close game. That was a close game that they played. Um, oh, I mean, a matter, of, a matter of a fact, a matter of fact, a lot of the games have been, like, unimpressive to me lately, you know. And Memphis is, is the team that's trending up right now. They're trending up right now. And... I was reading uh, like, like a bold predictions article on ESPN.com and it was talking about which teams are going to win their conference tournaments and for the American the AAC it was kind of split it was kind of like somebody, you know, one writer picked a few writers picked uh, Florida Atlantic the other one picked South Florida and Joe Lenardi the bracketologist he picked Memphis man Believes Memphis is going to um, win the conference, man. Um, if, so if they win the conference, that's the second straight AAC title under Penny Hardaway under his tenure, tenure as the head coach. That's huge for his resume. Um, that would that would hush the doubters, you know, the, the criticizers about how good this guy is as, as a head coach. You know. But how they gonna get there? It's yet to, to be uh, determined because there's still a lot of work left. They still need a lot of help. They gotta uh, win tomorrow um, and need some help from uh, the other teams, you know. So they can finish no longer than no lower than fourth in the standings to get that uh, that double bye to, to play three games instead of four to get to the conference finals. Now you ask them why. Why they should play should seek to play three games instead of four is because less amount of games to get to the conference time conference finals means the less amount of attrition to get there as well. Because when you're running the gauntlet like that and those in the, in the short time frame, the battle of attrition starts to set in. You know, rest, you know, players need to know time off um fatigue starts to set in and those guys you know it's gonna be the team that has that 
as the little, the little ounce of gas left that's going to win the finals when the day AAC. And maybe that could be Memphis, man. We'll see, man, because I think, like I said before, I keep saying this, when this team is locked in, focused, rotations are done right, players, you know, playing in their role and not trying to be the star, not trying to play ISO ball, this team can hang with anybody, man. They can hang with anybody in the country. They can hang with anybody in the, in, in the American. And that's South Florida included. Remember, you had a, these boys had a 20 point lead on South Florida. In the tournament, the NCAA tournament last year, that was a close game that they lost to um, Florida Atlantic. This year, you saw the results. Memphis got the victory over them. So, they can do it. Just the challenge of attrition, staying uh, focused, staying, you know, engaged during that time and during the uh, AAC tournament. That's going to get them over the top. So that's why I think it's better for them to have that three games instead of playing four. But we'll see how it play out real soon. Uh, tomorrow's the games, 11 o'clock tip off down in Boca Raton at their place, rematch. I believe it's on CBS, so that's going to be a, um, a marquee game for tomorrow, but it's kind of early that it's starting at 11, but it is what it is, man. It ain't nothing new to me. So we'll see how it play out uh, on the other side. I'll probably do a recap video tomorrow. I'm not going to do a, a written or a written story on it on the uh, or after, um, after, after the, uh, the results have been posted for the game, and go from there. So that's how I see it playing out. Alright. Alright, so that's all for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how y'all feel. The Tigers right now. Also check out strikesevelsports.com for this content on the Memphis Tigers. For one basketball program, just click on the Memphis tab and you'll be taken to the um, Memphis Wire section of the website. And tomorrow and I'll be doing a recap of that, that uh, matchup. And we'll see how it play out. Have a blessed day. Peace. Be safe and out.